So Dunning and Kruger are two researchers who looked into this this uh, story they discovered about a guy who walked into a bank in America. Um, he didn't have a disguise on, broad daylight, walked into the bank, uh, robbed the bank at gunpoint, yeah. turned around, walked out. As he was leaving, he looked up at the camera and smirked, left the bank, walked up the road, walked into another bank, robbed that bank, walked out, got arrested. And when he got arrested, he was quoted as saying something along the lines of, I don't understand, what about the juice? So they interviewed him later right. and said, you made this comment, what did, you, what did you mean? And basically he'd read somewhere <laughs> that the active ingredient in Visible Ink was lemon juice. And he was so stupid that he thought if he smeared himself in lemon juice, he'd be invisible to the cameras. Oh my God. So they, they did all the usual, they did the due diligence. He wasn't insane. He wasn't no. intoxicated. He was just really stupid. And he, knows so, he just knew so little about this subject <laughs> that he thought he knew everything. <laughs> Right. So Dunning, oh, I like that. So Dunning, like that so Dunning Kruger started looking into this and they started asking people coming out of exams, yeah. um, how did you think you did? Right. And they found that the people were like, oh, fucking disaster, messed it up royally, yeah, yeah. did really well. And the people that, yeah, smashed it, did terribly. And it's this idea that if you've got a subject which is, you know, 100% and your, your knowledge of that subject is 10%, yeah. you might know 50% of that 10%. So you think you know half of everything there is to know, but actually you only know 5%. Whereas some people, they know enough to know how much they don't know. Yeah. So they'll know, they'll know, they'll know 40%, but they know they don't know 60. Yeah, yeah. Um, so they think they don't know a lot, but they actually know a lot more than somebody who yeah. thinks they know a lot. That's the Dunning-Kruger effect. That's, that's, that's good, isn't interesting. It? Yeah, I've not come no, across no, that. neither did I. So yeah. I, I loved it as well. Yeah, yeah I loved yeah. that. Yeah. And interestingly, at, at Flow Martial Arts, where we're yeah. your training now, um, if you look across... Yeah, yeah. So they've, I'll they've, they've done, yeah. Oh, there's that, that, that Dunning bar, Kruger bar. There. Yeah, yeah. That's what it's called. The, uh, yeah, the that's Kruger clever. Bar. Yeah. Like that. And it's because when people come into a new, a new field or a new subject, they fit in yeah. a fucking everything. And often they know yeah. nothing, but they just don't know. They don't know nothing yet. No, no. Um, and I think to your point with, with that, if you've not done the qualifications, yeah. then you just don't... You, you'll think you know more than you do. Yeah, and absolutely. there'll be so many things that you just are unaware of and therefore advising people poorly on. Yeah, absolutely. So that's why it's so important. 